Okay. All right, hello everybody. Um, I see some family of mine out there as well. Hey, friends and fam. We're not gonna waste any more of your time with all this talking, this idle chatter. Uh, Mike and I have been preparing some stuff. I mean, we've been jamming together for years, so this is just really a product of um, all that all that jamming for your listening pleasure. Um, whenever you're ready, buddy. I'm always ready. All right. Sex on Fire. Um, I love singing that song. I know that's a favorite because anybody knows me knows I'm addicted to karaoke. Like if I hear inklings of somebody being on a microphone in a bar or something, I'm going in. Of course, we don't get to do that anymore. So consider this me getting that frustration out. All of that energy. That being said, next song. Let's do it. Woo! <laughs> Play it so beautifully, don't you agree? <laughs> All right, all right, ready? I need. I don't know if I can do this alone. For oh, after all, I sweet love is born. I've been running, I've been skipping like a star. And I don't know if I, if I can do this anymore. Did I met her, she was standing by your door. I ain't never seen a light like that before. 
please let me put something more sure. And I don't know if I like this tell you that learning that one um <laughs> so uh last one out i definitely want to thank kyle for giving us this space as always it's been years of just giving artists in the community an opportunity to express themselves to an audience that may otherwise not have been there and for that i am eternally grateful uh, atlanta is better for it and i guess continue miami was too um uh, but <laughs> last song uh, we're gonna get out of your hair. Um, this is a favorite. I love um, Amy Winehouse, as many people do. Uh, so I'm just gonna go into this one. This is Valerie. Thank you all for your time. I'm sorry. 
I think of all the things what you're doing, and in my head I paint a picture. Thank you so much. Is it Mike? Thank you so much for uh, for helping. That was amazing guitar work. Um, I love this setting. That was beautiful. Again, whenever you uh, when you when you had the background, it was so confusing because I did not know that was a fake background, and then suddenly, <laughs> <laughs> and then this is beautiful. I'm I'm so thankful. Thank you so much, Ian, for that uh, that shout out as well. That was very very special and very kind of you. Had me tearing up over here. Um, but the music was un- incredible. Again, I love your voice, and I've missed it so much. So getting to do this with you is um, is just a, a real pleasure. I'm I'm having a hard time not looking directly at you on the screen um okay so i do have some questions i know that we i know we again i always invite my talented friends onto the show so it's like it's it's strange i know we know a lot about each other but i i, I do want to kind of introduce you to these uh fine people who are watching uh which i i assume you a lot of them might know you some of them might know you i think uh i think i was seeing that your mom i i miss i miss seeing them at duets so i'm really happy yeah. um okay so i wanted to ask these questions um, I, I, I was curious. I was just thinking, how long have you been singing, Ian? Um, I mean, I started playing saxophone mm-hmm. years ago, and when I went to college, I ended up meeting some people who were like, you know, catching me singing in the corner or something. They were like, "No, you be singing, and I know you do, and stop faking funk and get out here with me and start singing." And it wasn't until then, it wasn't until like adult adult life that I was. You know, meeting people like yourself and a good friend of mine, um, Aja, and people like him, just like taking me out of that comfort zone and saying, "We heard you sing." Really? Yeah, because I mean, that's the thing. You had that. You have a voice that's um, that sounds. You, I'm surprised to know that. I'm surprised you haven't been singing since childhood. Um, and I, I guess mean, if if you, who would be the first person that you can remember ever telling you, "Hey, you got a good voice." Hmm. Um, I did sing a little bit when I was growing up in like a chorus and Miss Harriet was the first person who was like, um, she put me out there to sing, what was the song? Um, some, it's a song, you say I'm, I'm your shepherd, why aren't you following me? And she put my nasally singing butt out there <laughs> and, and had me in like the fourth grade singing at some concert thing, doing all kinds of cool stuff. But yeah, that was like the first person for sure. I'm al- I, That's one of those things I'm always interested to find out when people started and with you especially, I, I realized as long as we've known each other, I've never asked you that question. Um, so another thing, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, you sent me some information a little while ago. Are you working on some new music now? Yes. Yes, I am. Um, I've been recording... With uh, this guy's uh, Randy Michael um, over at In Crowd Recordings, uh, along with Ian Clan, another Ian. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. And we've just been doing some really cool, like almost Phil Spector's like wall of sound stuff. Uh, currently, there's a compilation of some of the friends that come through those walls um, on Spotify and a- Apple Music, and it's called uh, it's the In Crowd. It's a compilation. So if you wanted to find me, uh, Ian Cole and the Revelations would be who you need to look up there. Uh, we've got a couple of songs out there and been just recording nonstop. And so there's some, there's definitely some things in the pipeline. Um, there is a winter song involved that is going to be, um, I'm really proud of and it's going to, it's going to go. It's gonna you're go you're releasing a song in the wintertime? 
Is that what you're yes, saying? I, oh, is, yes. or is it a winter theme song? Is that what you're getting at? Or a Christmas, but winter theme. It's going to be really chill. Heard. Oh, that's exciting. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so I'm. It's like Mariah Carey, and I just come out once a year, and then I go back into my shadow. Well, that is kind of what I'm. That's what I'm. I'm wondering next because you you're going to be releasing something this winter. But uh, do you? What are your plans? Um, because. To know you and to know what a talent you are, I know you better stay busy. What are your plans in the future, and what are you what are you planning on doing in your music career? Um, I, I definitely have. I had all of these goals that I wanted to accomplish at a certain time, and I learned that if I'm basing my success off the success, success or um, the progress of others, then I'm not really I'm not really doing it for myself. Yeah. Um, that being said, I have made a decision to say no to i've not said no to anything that's come my way so far so the sky's the limit um i stay busy i'm probably going to be in the studio tomorrow so oh, i love it fun time. well i'm yeah. we, we are eager to hear new stuff from, from you so you can tell us one more time where can we find your information um so i'm on instagram colium c-o-l-e-i-u-m um, so definitely somewhere to keep up with anything that may be coming down the pipeline. Um, in addition to that, of course, you can still find me at Ian Cole of the Revelations on Apple Music and Spotify right now. Okay, perfect. Well, Mike, I want to say thank you so much to you. Thank you for for playing guitar for us, and thank you for jamming out with us. Um, and Ian, again, you killed it. That was an amazing set. Um, it is. It's. It's now over. You can relax and and breathe and uh, and you know go crack open a cold one. Okay. <laughs> Hey, they get there you go. Oh my god, he's so so ahead of it. So ahead of it already. All right, everybody, let's say bye to Ian. Thank you, thank you guys. Ian and Mike, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you.